How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about HDMI and DisplayPort, what their differences are, and which one you should be using. Both HDMI and DisplayPort serve the overall the same function of just transferring video and audio data. They both also have many different versions, so depending on which version you look at, you might get some different features. And for this video, we'll be looking at the most recent version as a filming, and to avoid complication of explanations, we're not going to be talking about the pins and all the data transfers. We're going to keep this to just features and focus on that just to limit the number of options. So let's start with speed. Since this is always a hot number thrown around in the computer world, it seems fitting to get this out of the way because as you're going to find out, it's not really that important in this case. HDMI 2.1 is the most recent version from today, and it came out in 2017 with a maximum bitrate of 48 gigabits per second or around 6 gigabytes per second. In comparison, DisplayPort 2.0, which came out in 2019, has a maximum bitrate of 77.37 gigabits per second, which equates to roughly 9.67 gigabytes per second, which is a 62% increase over HDMI 2.1. But how fast is fast enough? Well, a standard 4K display running at 3840 by 2160, and if we take an even rounder number and make it even larger at 4400 by 2250, running at 60 hertz with a 16-bit color depth, that would require roughly 2.23 gigabytes per second. So as you see, we're still way under the limit and we're not even close to reaching that. So if you're sticking with 4K monitors and TVs, you'll be fine for a while. Once we get past 4K, that is where the big advantage of DisplayPort 2.0 lies. HDMI 2.1 can only support an 8K display at 60 hertz, while DisplayPort 2.0 has enough speed to allow for an 8K at 120 hertz or even a 16K at 60 hertz. So while HDMI 2.1 is stuck 60 hertz at 8K, you can do double that, 16K, and still be running at 60 hertz. So as for speed, DisplayPort takes the lead, but it's an advantage that most consumers aren't really going to see and definitely not in any time soon. So one of the best features of HDMI, on the other hand, is its CEC, or Consumer Electronics Control. And this is a feature that allows you to control devices that are connected via HDMI. So you can use your TV remote to control your Blu-ray player or your game console or whatever you really have plugged in, and it supports up to 15 other devices. So you can just use, through HDMI, one remote and control all the devices that are plugged in. DisplayPort, though, also added this feature in, a similar feature, um, through an aux channel into its pins on version 1.3, so it can actually interpret the CEC commands, but you would only be able to use this feature from an HDMI port, so you would still need the adapter. Another feature difference is the connectors is a physical one, so DisplayPort actually has a locking tooth that will stop the cable from being pulled out. Now this could be an advantage or disadvantage the way you look at it because if you trip on a cable and it has locking teeth, that's either going to break the TV or whatever you have it plugged into or the cable itself, whereas HDMI is just you plug it in and you can pull it back out. So personally, I actually prefer HDMI because I don't find very often that these cables are being tugged at and they need to be secured with some locking mechanism. So I'm kind of indifferent there, but that's kind of a personal preference. Now, personally, for DisplayPort, I prefer it on my computer monitors and HDMI for my TV. The CEC feature from HDMI is really designed for televisions, and that's where you can take advantage of the feature. And DisplayPort is super feature-proof, and monitors are usually the place where we see these massive increases in 16 or 18K displays first with like high refresh rates, so I figured that's probably better to be on my monitor, so that way I am ready for whatever comes next. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope this helped you kind of understand that really right now there is no huge difference uh, whatever you wanted to run. But in the future, obviously, when we get bigger and bigger displays and faster and faster refresh rates, it'll probably come a little more into play. But really nothing to worry about right now. Anyways, if you like videos like this, I'll have another one right here if you want to check that one out. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below if you have something you want to discuss, talk tech, have a question, literally anything. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.